Hey, how's it going? Tim Brown, and we're doing a demo today of Rufal, RoofQuote Pro. And if you've seen RoofQuote Pro before, you're going to still want to watch this because things have evolved. Isn't that right, Matt? That is correct, Tim. Things have uh, actually improved quite a bit since our original product. We're actually just released version 3.0, which is hard to believe. Uh, it's been just uh, under a year since version 2, so we've had enormous amount of updates and changes, enhancements to the platform. I need you to rattle off the enhancements in one second. So get those ready, some of the key enhancements. But first, let me tell you what the problem is that RoofQuote Pro solves. Your customers are getting more and more used to getting quick pricing on things. And when it takes you two weeks to get a price turnaround, they're already moved on. So unless you're that company that comes out immediately, 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 you lose leads and that lag time, you lose customers. And people are just getting used to price transparency. They're getting used to, like I've seen um, car dealerships say, we give you one price and it's always the same price for every single vehicle like that. People just want that consistency, that clarity. They don't want to feel gouged. They don't want to feel like the, the price goes up and down based on if it's an old woman versus a young man, you know, things like that. So people like that price transparency for that reason. Matt, what are some of the key things that are new? And if you feel like adding to the problem thing, I'm, I'm open to that. Yeah, no, it's, it's both solving problems and it's a, a huge solution to the one thing it really solves is, is leads. It's a lead magnet because people absolutely want to know the price for this very expensive project that they typically only have to do once in their lifetime. And they're scouring the internet to find that information. And you're presenting it in a way that's extremely intuitive, it's well designed, and it actually takes them on a journey like they would shop for anything else online. So we've designed it in a way that's very familiar to the online shopper. If I were to go online and shop for anything and they're going to be able to see actual products, they're going to see colors, they're going to get education on what's included with that roofing system, what's not included, they're going to get the actual price. And so when you patch that all in a nice, neat bottle, put it on your website, not only does it make you look extremely professional. Uh, it also endows quite a lot of trust with the homeowner because, again, you're being upfront about your pricing. You're not trying to hide. You're not trying to strong arm them. You're, you're creating a, a lot of convenience for them. A lot of people are actually shopping uh, or doing their project planning late at night when they actually have time to. Uh, so a lot of these lead inquiries actually come in, you know, after 9 p.m. when people are in bed. Uh, so by allowing this to be on your site, you're able to quote roofs and essentially start the selling process 24 seven without anybody being involved. So it's a homeowner driven process. It puts them in the driver's seat. It gives them all the information needed to make a decision. So when the time you get this lead, not only are they price conditioned, not only are they comfortable with the price, they trust your company because You've given them this excellent technology that that's up front. Uh, so those leads are selling at extremely high numbers. We're talking 80 plus percent close rate on leads that, that have an instant quote. Just want to know, I'm going to do objections. Some of the key objections some people have sure. at the very end of this. But first, could you get into the demo and let's kind of go quick through some of the new features. Um, obviously, just sharing the basics too but some of the new features in particular that people may not have seen yet if they've checked this out before. So imagine imagine this is a contractor's website. So this yep. is just a demo page. So uh, this is your website. You could put this uh, slide out on, on the side of your site, or you can actually embed uh, this tool on your site. What would my roof cost? So if I'm a homeowner, I go here, I put my address in. It's gonna actually pull up my house uh, aerial view of my house. Uh, it's actually going to show me all the structures on my property. So if I have a detached garage or barn, uh, it's going to include that. Uh, it's going to give me some details about the structure. For instance, how uh, what is the predominant pitch? Uh, we also know the complexity of the roof just based on our proprietary patented technology. Uh, so 
really as simple as it is possible for the homeowner. They just hit see my price. And this is where, okay, there's a form wall, but I've gotten this far. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my information in. And one more click. And just like that, they're getting a highly accurate detailed estimate for up to eight different products that you select as the contractor. Right. So uh, not just this, this is just the start of the journey. So this is their instant quote. Uh, again, they can, they can shop between different products. Uh, now, if, if we look at this package details, this is all customizable for the contractor. This is where you can get into very itemized uh, information here. Uh, they can also flip through different colors. You can set these call to actions to be whatever you'd like, or they can even click to see more details. And this is one, one thing that's brand new is a product details page. Uh, so now not only can they see this nice list view of your products, they can actually click to see more details and they have a much more uh, robust, rich experience to look at the images, look at the swatches. It's and gonna... why, why would you say giving the customers more information on the contractor's website about products is valuable for the homeowner and more likely to get them sales and leads? So it's it's all about equipping them with the information they need to make an informed decision. So uh, and We've this talked is about this before, but like the homeowner expectation is changing. They're actually diving in a little bit more than you want them to in details. Like the truth is, homeowners are getting more into the weeds sometimes on the specific details. That's changed over the last 10, 20 years. People are right. getting very into things sometimes, um, and yeah, giving that them in that information right there. Makes sense. Yeah, so they don't have to research elsewhere. We're seeing that particularly in the coming generations, millennials and onward, uh, actually Gen X even, where you know people want that control. They want that online. Um, they they want to be able to research themselves. They don't want to be necessarily sold to or be fed the information from an individual. We're even seeing trends going away from word of mouth referrals and people a lot more trusting in online reviews because these are uh, reviews that are crafted over many third parties. It's not just one neighbor with one experience. So uh, as generations are changing, as homeowner demographics are changing, a lot more people are, are interested in doing their own research, doing their own, uh, doing everything that's within their control. Uh, to, to get to that transaction. So keep not, poking around on this tool, keep poking around yeah. on this tool because it's kind of up and, and, and we'll talk through, like, I just want to note, somebody was saying this yesterday. They're like, I trust word of mouth. And it was an older person, just to be honest. And the people in the, the, the comments were agreeing with him, but they were all older people and that's fine. I'm not really ageist or anything, but the thing is, is that people are different now. <laughs> yeah, and it's shifting. And, and it's not to say yeah. word of mouth is going away, but it's, it's sort of a false positive too, where it's like, oh, word of mouth is, is all that works, but word of mouth is all you do in marketing, then of course it's all it's going to work. If you don't have digital going on, then you're not going to know any better of how effective it is. Uh, but it, it, just yesterday, we had a webinar with Roofing Contractor Magazine. They did an extensive survey of first party uh, surveying of homeowners where they actually collected this type of information, homeowner trends, homeowner preferences, and how they choose contractors and what they expect in the process. And everything that I'm telling you has been verified, has, been, has actually been uh, confirmed in this data that people are, are moving away from just the word of mouth uh, referral base. They're moving towards online uh, reviews. There's definitely expecting price transparency I think the number was 66% of homeowners uh, are using that as a main consideration in their in choosing a contractor. So more than half the people are choosing a contractor based on if they're showing a price up front, hmm, if they're, if they're clear about their costs. So Crazy. Where, where is that data from? Uh, this is the Roofing Magazine's uh, Homeowner Trends Survey. Uh, Incredible. Probably just find it really quick. Um, 
Yeah, I'll, I'll send you People right can Google it too. People can yeah. Google it. We may link in the comments. What are the other new features that are on uh, RoofQuote Pro? Yep. So, I mean, we're, we're loaded with a, a lot of new features. We have a number of integrations that we introduce. We have integrations with Eagle View, integrations with GF Quick Measure, uh, Job Nimbus, Leap, that so you can connect your CRM. Every lead that comes in can go directly into your CRM. Do you want to uh, show some of the back end stuff? Like, sure. Because I think it would be great to be able to see that stuff that you're talking about. Yeah, absolutely. So this is a, a, a look under the hood. This is the pro portal. Uh, so here you have different uh, operational for your sales team. So you have a leads contacts dashboard. Uh, so again, I can pop this open. This is the lead that I just created here. So I could see exactly what they saw, all the products and pricing. Uh, now I can actually go and order a measurement. I can order a measurement through GF uh, Quick Measure or Eagle View. Uh, once I get that measurement back, I can actually turn that into a, a, a material order automatically. Uh, so I can actually order my materials uh, through Beacon Pro Plus. Uh, again, it's very, very simple interface. Uh, you could train even a, a virtual assistant to do this kind of process. Um, I can also go in and, and open the quote back up. Uh, if I'm a sales rep, I can go from an instant quote to an actual uh more firm finalized price. So I can add additional costs, for instance, um, you know, let's say there was a skylight, let's say uh, they need partial decking replacement. I want three sheets uh, or even upgrades. Let's say I want to mm. add a skylight, uh, add some gutters, you know, it's 70 linear square feet, um, et cetera, et cetera. I can go in and I can actually adjust the these total square feet of my instant quote. Uh, so if, uh, you know, if you got the Eagle view back, the quick measure, and you know, it was, a, it was a square off, you can go in and adjust that if you need to. You could set your waste factor. You've actually introduced AI suggested waste. Uh, so again, we're able to detect the complexity of the roof and give you a suggested waste factor based on how complex it is. Now this, this roof that I'm showing here is a very, complex, very cut up roof. So it's a little bit higher waste percentage there. And so you can see here, all this information is nice and neat. And I can, uh, I can email this out to my homeowner. I can put in whatever information I want. So really just one step away from kind of a signable proposal. I can also send them a, a invitation to get financing. Uh, so I just, I just texted myself a, uh, a link that basically yeah, I can get pre-qualified. Yeah, this it's pretty huge. wild. It's I'm huge... just live reacting to this. I don't know. About, <laughs> I don't know about all this stuff. This is like looking way more advanced than I think the last time we did uh, a demo with you. So I think, yeah. wow. I yeah, think... we're we're moving fast. We're we're definitely, um, you know, it's it's not just about all these new features, but we're trying to design in a way that you know based on what our contractors are actually requesting, uh, based on our experience of pioneering this whole digital virtual sale. And that's what we're trying to get to is this ability to sell roofs online 100%. Um, you know, a customer goes on there uh, and it's not to say that there's not involvement from a sales rep. It's just being able to do that at scale and having a sales rep do it remotely. Um, you know, just all sorts of, of possibilities for your team. Um, Talk to me about the the financing stuff, like because now you've got like a quick button you can add to your website and stuff like that. Yep, yep. So uh, let me show you that. Uh, so back on this demo page, yeah, you can actually just add a a button to your site where they can get pre qualified. It's that same process, so it can either text me or send me an email with the link. And it literally takes less than 60 seconds. I'm not going to get an impact to my credit. Uh, it's not going to hit my credit. And I can see multiple loan options that I'm pre-qualified for uh, in literally less than a minute. So that's pretty So cool. does pretty this is, I mean, I'm not going to lie. This looks slick. Like even that is enough. Just that is probably enough to get like roofful. Like I've seen other things kind of like that, but they're not that quick and simple. And yeah. It doesn't 
Yeah, we uh, just to take it one step further, we, we just did a collaboration with Owens Corning. So we actually got the rights to use the Pink Panther as part of the experience. I'm not sure yeah. if you can actually see that. Maybe if I tighten this up. Um, are you able to see that Pink Panther on the side here? Yeah, yep. it's beautiful. Beautiful yep. Pink Panther. Yep, so we um, that's Look part of the, the whole experience. Uh, so it's blending not just the technology, but now you're also blending the trust of that OC brand. So it's it's a one-two punch for the homeowner. It's eye-catching. You know, it's, it's really going to drive up conversion. So when people go to your website, they're not just trying to, you know, scour for information and then hit a, a, a typical form and then wait to hear it back from you. This this experience has taken the homeowner to a whole new level of, of online service. And they're going to thank you for it. My God. Well, the OC partnership is sweet. That's congratulations on that. And it, from what I understand, like if you're an orange scoring contractor, you do get a little discount on roofful. Yeah. So we have a OC kind of version of the, the subscription. It's essentially the same platform. Uh, there's just two requirements. You have to show an Owens Corning product as your first product and all your instant quotes, mm -hmm. and you can't override the branding. So right here, I'm showing you the branding tab. Uh, if you yeah. turn this toggle on, so this is a normal account. I can turn this on and suddenly now I have the Owens Corning branding. Same with yeah. the, the slide out tab. I can just turn that on. Um, but if I have the OC subscription, I can't turn that off. So essentially there's, you can't override the branding. Where now I have full customization, I can go in and change the text and such. Sweet. Um, that's, so not that's bad. Really and it's good. yeah, it's essentially uh, it's an extra uh, thirty dollars off a month the subscription cost. Uh, we also bake in a fifty percent off setup fee. Um, if you get the annual plan, it comes out to be essentially three months free or twenty five percent off the whole platform with the annual. So All right. pretty and, smoking uh, deal. And you guys are pretty upfront with all your pricing as well as, you know, if, yep. you, if you talk to Rufal. Uh, yeah, let me, uh, I, I just show you on, on the screen. Yeah, here. and this is going to be current pricing. I know that stuff like you guys are innovating quick. So stuff is like if this, if you're viewing this in a couple of years or something, the pricing might be a little different, but. Yeah, yeah. And, and yeah, exactly. So uh, we have. It's, it's all inclusive. Uh, it's just a matter if you want the monthly option or the annual. Um, there is a one-time setup fee. You don't have to, to repay uh, once it's up and running. Uh, we do have some discounting uh, that you can look into with partnerships. Uh, so a lot of times we'll be able to take a good percentage off the setup fee. Uh, and then, of course, those Owens Corning uh, plans that I mentioned. Um, but overall, you know, 5,500 for your first year, that does reduce after year two or after your first year because the set off fee uh, comes off. Um, really, you just need to sell, you know, a couple of roofs for the entire year for it to pay. And we're getting contractors that are seeing, you know, over 7,000% ROI in the first two months because they're just banging out roofs. Uh, you know, it doesn't take a whole lot. Can I throw in some uh, objections here to you? Please do. And if you don't mind, kind of go back while you're, uh, oh, this is perfect. Let's do it this way. Um, things that I know a lot of home, uh, roofing business owners might say. So I don't want, can, can we just roll, do it as a role play because it's more fun? Um, hey, sure. uh, Matt, my, I don't want my competitor to see my price. Yeah, I'd follow that with a, a, a question. Uh, for one, do you know your competitor's price or roughly about what they're pricing? If the competitors that you're yeah. bidding against consistently, yes, I do. Do you think I, that they already know your price as well? If there are any, I don't any... know. They're a little, uh, they're not super <laughs> sharp, if you know what I mean. They're, and they're always trying to do that $5,000 less thing where they literally just, they're trying to get the job and they don't care about their own profit, I think, sometimes. I don't know what these guys are up to. Well, it's only a matter of time that, that that business caves, obviously. But in the meantime, you know, selling on value, selling, you know, being able to show a homeowner that you actually include this, 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 you know, everyone knows. And this is what we found in, in our data is that uh, the, the lowest price 
tends to send up red flags and people know they get what they pay for. Uh, so typically if that price is, is much lower than other bids are getting, they're gonna, it's the same, same reaction that they're gonna get if you're in the home. Uh, either there's, it's too good to be true um, or you, know, you still can sell on value the same way that you do. You know, whether you have hundreds of reviews, whether that you are offering, um, you know, a 50 point service inspection or yada, yada, whatever it is that differentiates yeah. you as a company. Here's the thing. We like to strong arm our, our customers at that moment and tell them to sign now. <laughs> <I'm just kidding>. <laughs> <laughs> well, here's the thing is, is, you know, if you're worried about your competitors seeing your price, uh, well, for one, they're, they're already know because you bid against them time and time again. They know where, where your pricing is at. Um, you shouldn't be as concerned with competitors as concerned with what the homeowner wants because the homeowner, um, give the homeowner what they want. Uh, I, I would focus more on, on them than your competitor. And I, I'll tell you, that's what, wins, that's what wins business. It's not to say to ignore your competitor, but if you're focusing on your customer, um, that's going to be, that's going to win every time. I know that was that's a, very a really good, good point. Focus on your customer, not your competitor. I love it. All right. Well, the, the question is, is, if, yeah. is if you're, so if, if you're not showing your price up front and your competitor is, are you even going to have a chance to get a quote to that homeowner? Is the question. Yeah. And it is interesting, like I'm seeing more and more like people, even dare I say it, lower end roofing companies using this tool. So you'll look in a market and the, the badass roofing company is using this tool and the shitty one. <laughs> it's like it, this is just becoming like everyone's doing this. Yeah, it's it's widespread. I mean, we have thousands of contractors across the country using this in all different size markets, all different, you know, we have the guys that are franchisees and are, are massive and the guys that are pretty greenfield and they're they're just starting up, they're you know, under a million the first year. Um and it, it's got so much different ways that you can extract value from it. You know, you can develop a consistent selling process. If you have a huge sales team, you can add all your sales rep and have this ability to fire off uh, quotes in the field at any given time or set up referral networks where you're sharing a link to, for people to get their own quotes, such as for real estate agents. Um, you know, there's on, on a selling, you know, we, we have a great webinar coming up with uh, top rep Ch Chuck Toki, and he's going through some of the, the ways that you can actually sell with this type of process. And uh, one of the good points is if people are willing to meet with you after they've seen this instant quote, automatically you're taking out that price objection because they are signaling that they're comfortable in that range of pricing, that they can't afford it. So that is why that number one objection in the home is automatically taken away. So now it's becoming more of an educational visit and less of a sales visit. All right, I'm going to get to the next one here. I apologize. I'm just going to keep it rolling for the audience. I was, I was filler busting. Don't worry. Yeah, you know, that's <laughs> the thing. Is like I always, I know people, because I'm ADD, I know people are going ADD. And so like I, I kind of push <laughs> the conversation along and I get roasted in the comments for a lot. And I have paid dearly. <laughs> um, my goods and services are too complex, Matt. I've got different stuff going on. You know what I mean? I've got... Uh, sometimes we, you know, just different things come up. Like we're talking about the, the complexities of a roof job. You know what I'm saying, right? Like, how do you guys deal with that? Like, it's, it's a lot of complex stuff. Like a lot of times we have to come out and do decking, right? Like, or, you know, mm -hmm. figure that out. And there's a lot of things. It's like, I know by stepping on it, something's rotten, but I don't always know that, you know, you know, an aerial thing. Yeah, and keep in mind, this is an instant quote. So this is giving the homeowner an idea of what it's cost. This is not their final contract. Uh, it's written in that quote, what's included in that price and what could be additional cost. And you're not typically knowing that you need a partial uh, deck and repair or full deck and repair, or you're not gonna know that you have multiple layers until you do demo anyways, most of the time, unless there's some 
meet the access. So a lot of times these additional costs are things that you're adding, uh, you know, beginning of a project or on a thorough site inspection with a PM anyways. Uh, so don't necessarily get caught up in uh, this instant quote being the final number because uh, it's not. And you can also even show a price range. So if you're not comfortable showing an exact price, uh, you can actually show a range. You can do a plus minus. You can do, uh, you know, set this as my base price and go up 5% from here. Uh, so there's a lot of flexibility. And besides that, we've tested this over literally millions of addresses and our uh, technology is patent pending. It, it is able to de detect not only the total squares, the predominant pitch, the complexity uh, for all the structures on the property. And it, we found that it's 95% accurate 95% of the time. So uh, not going to say it's 100% perfect. That's just not realistic, but it is certainly enough to get people that instant quote uh, where they're going to see a price that is accurate. You're going to see it detailed to an actual product. It's not just a generic uh, asphalt shingle. Uh, and if they're comfortable, that sale is going to be extremely easy to close as long as you're following up and being professional. All right. My next one is my customer will be scared away by the price they see. So like, I know that, I know that we're more expensive, Matt. Mm -hmm. And like, if they're just shopping on price and that's all they see, they're going to get scared off. And uh, I would say that's not a bad thing uh, for a lot of people. Well, for one, keep in mind, you, you've you got the lead now. So if there's different reasons why that price might scare them, the price might scare them now because they just don't have, uh, they're not financially uh, able to, to, to deal with it currently, but maybe in a year, maybe in two years, they can handle it. Um, so you have this lead now and you can follow up with them and you can continue to be part of their process, whether that's emailing them quarterly, calling them, you know, annually, uh, setting up a service agreement inspection, uh, whatever it is. Uh, so if it's, if it's that they can't afford it now, it's all about just being consistent, but now you have the lead. Now you've given them something of value. Now they have information that they're going to keep, uh, the other option is they can't afford it, period. And those are people who you want to weed out anyways, because you're not going to want to spend an hour driving out to this property, doing the whole pitch, you know, pulling a expensive measurement, and then you finally present a price and they say, oh, well, there's no way I can afford that anyways. So this is actually a way to reduce the tire kickers and actually fill your funnel up with real prospects, with actual good quality prospects. All right. Well, I, you know, I asked the other day on Facebook uh, how to get rid of tire kickers. And uh, a lot of people were saying, get rid of the tires, which I don't know what that means. I'm sure, <laughs> I'm so, sure there's some inside joke there that I don't get. But it was funny, a, a number of people actually mentioned roof quote pro as a solution. So other, you know, roofers are saying nice. this even separately. Um, let me, let me read one or two. Uh, Chris Dyrall says, give them a number with an instant roof quote tool. Roofal. We send most bids ahead of a site visit and allow our customer time to digest a quote before we get there. We still have an occasional cancellation and typically they have shown some indications during the initial qualifying call to indicate they're looking for the lowest number. You know, you're my seventh estimate, stuff like that. And yeah, there's just a few, uh, John Delorier says roofful roof quote pro, just a number of other people in the comments talking about instant roof quotes and making sure that like that. I mean, if you're worried about tire kickers, that's mm -hmm. real solution. Yeah, and, and I know not everyone has that luxury where they're essentially vetting leads because they have too many leads. Now we've given that problem to some people with this tool, but um, yeah, that's it's just one of the ways that you can get more values by freeing up your sales reps' time to focus on the people that are more likely to actually purchase. You know, you're saving time, you're saving money, you're saving on trips, and actually you can expand your service area too. Uh, so now you can start bidding jobs that are 80 miles out that you normally wouldn't because you can essentially sell it virtually. Absolutely. Well, Matt, I know you guys are going to continue to innovate. Uh, to me, that 
that financing, you know, thing, the, the new stuff that you're doing with that is like almost worth it in and of itself. Um, we're talking about the realtor thing. That's almost worth it in and of itself. If you think about how much time y'all are spending on realtor shit. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you, you can even set up a, a referral program. Uh, so we, we have the capability where you can add a little, uh, this is a, maybe too much geeking out on the marketing side, but add a little parameter to the URL um, where you can track an ID or a source or whatever it is. Uh, we have analytics that you can see very clearly in your pro portal. So imagine I create a link for my customer and it's their referral link. And now they share that out with all their neighbors. Uh, now I, I can actually track every lead that that's come in through that, that, that neighbor. So you can set up and now all these people, now your neighbor is able to, to, to send this link out to all these people and they can actually be, start getting quotes. Mm. So, well, I mean, we are at the end of the thing. So if somebody watched all the way, <laughs> they're, they're down to nerd out. So any, any final, uh, nerd, like here, here's like a more advanced way to use this things yeah there's there's uh we call it deep linking um where essentially you can you can embed that the address of the homeowner into your url and so when they click on it it's going to automatically pull up their house they don't even have to put Ooh, their address in so you can imagine cool. like yeah and even um speaking of addresses we didn't touch on but we capture every address that is entered so even if they back out if they put their address in and they see the form and they're like oh, i don't want to put my info in we already know their address so you can send out a mailer or a door hanger send sales rep in the neighborhood you're able to get a nice picture of of where the interest is in, in your service area anything um, else uh there's there's a ton there's ton of stuff but um yeah, I mean, just it's all a matter of like how how you sell, how you market. I mean, well, guys, this tool is growing. This is this is the thing. The tool is growing. It's insanely uh, more useful than it was two years ago. I think when we did our first uh, demo, I just wanted to get in here and look at it with you. I think I'm not always like, you know, because I'm not a roofing contractor myself. I'm not always like, hey, these are all. I wouldn't know where to look inside there always and i think this is exciting it's exciting where you guys are going and like what like this could lead to you know long term and how how much you know headaches it could save for people but how much it can already save so yeah, i hope you guys utilize that. the technology that's out there like don't make things harder than they need to be yeah and that's what's nice is that this is a uh, a community driven effort so it's no longer just Rufal that is behind this whole movement we have again thousands of contractors now that are they see the future they see that the online service is becoming more and more important it's where consumers are demanding we're just trying to harness the demand and collectively as a community we're like pooling ideas on how to sell virtually how to how to get people to how to drive up your conversions with a better and better experience online. And it's just really cool to see so many contractors sharing in this, this effort to, to what we, this platform has become. Well, thank you for being on, sir. Uh, this has been more of a demo than a podcast or whatever, but I really appreciate everyone watching and checking this out and please like, and subscribe to the video comment with your objections. And Matt will be in here every day. Just kidding. Just, Share your experience, share your positive experience. If you've had a positive experience with Roof Quote Pro in the comments to help people realize that this is a, a powerful tool and that it could help them. So thank you guys all for checking this out. Hope you guys have an amazing day. Peace.